What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to YouTube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for joining us on this journey. It's been absolutely crazy over the last year. The growth has been mad. And uh, also moving into different countries, sounds and styles. You guys have been so supportive. So thank you to each and every one of you who's been along for the journey. As always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Now, today... We are continuing our exploration into the sounds of Zambia. A really exciting tune. This one, it goes by the name Bekuchinga, and it comes to us from Koziem alongside Yo Maps. Now, we have reacted to one Yo Maps tune. Really like the approach. Um, first time listening to Koziem, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. This is one you guys have been quite keen on me getting into. So there we go. We're going to get into it today. As always, though, hopefully you do enjoy, and let's jump into the sounds. Let's see how we are going. Yeah. Tim K Pro on yeah. directing duties. Nice bounce on the drums. Woo. I'm loving the use of those horns in the background as well, just giving it that kind of GM, very kind of regal feel that works really nicely. Again, the video looks like it's been shot really well as well. There are likely to be a few language barriers on this one. Um, apologies, obviously, I can only speak English because I am terrible at learning other languages, so we are here to assess the sonics more than anything else if you are new, so apologies. But if there are any potent lyrics or anything like that you feel I should know, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm always keen to read those. Let's go. I'm loving the overall bounce of this man. It's something there's something very enjoyable about it. That little secondary breakdown is nuts where you just kind of get into that bam, bam, ba -dam, ba -dam, bam, 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 ba -dam, ba -dam. That's really, really nice, man. Again, party starting music to say the very least. There's something very kind of wholesome about this from the uh, sort of drum structures that are operating in that sort of dum, oh, dum, dum, dum. Dun, 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 but with the rolling 4-4 in the background, again, the utilization of those horn sounds in there as well. Really nice bass line. Lots of sweeping electronic elements as well, just giving it this sense of gravitas um, and just giving the whole thing a very vibrant feel. The video looks great as well. Some very, very attractive women in this video. I can't, I can't lie to you. Uh, but yeah, it's looking and sounding great, man. Let's go. <laughs> Love that little simp sound as well. <laughs> Going into those high-end R&B notes, that's what we love to hear. Something very cool about this vocal that we're getting into next that I think is, um, there's something that isn't credited enough, and that is understanding the use of space, especially in tunes that would kind of fall into a semi-dance music realm, because this one would fall into a semi-dance music realm, just from the overall structure um, and the 4-4 drums. The utilization of space, leaving space for a vocal to sit and then not be a constant run of either lyrics or vocal texture. The vocal hits a lot more impactfully when you are allowing space either side of it. When there's just a constant vocal rolling, um, it's a mistake a lot of people make. It's a mistake a lot of rap rappers make when they go onto a 4-4 four, four, four sounding tune, they'll just constantly talk the entire way through because they want to fill up the entire space. But when you let the vocals sit a little bit more, you make stuff so much more engageable with it, so much easier to sing along with it. Um, and you can hear that experience coming through in this vocal here. Mm. Nice 808 underneath as well. It's 
Really cool hearing those horns just constantly kind of fluctuating in and out of the mix as well. Those sort of... And that's following a similar melody to the vocal lines we're getting as well. Lots of movement in the 808s in the low end of the tune as well. Those 808 bass notes are really kind of sweeping up and down and giving it, again, this very kind of loose texture. But then, of course, you have the strictness of the drums as well. So you're kind of being thrown all over the place rhythmically. It's a really interesting one to dive into. Um, I could I could talk about this tune for hours, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's something I'm noticing about this as well. That double clap that we're hearing, that sort of rather than it just being a sort of typical, almost Kaduru style in, uh, sort of rhythm. Um, it, there's something, I don't know, more in, more kind of, it, it pulls you in a little bit more, the fact they're using the double clap. I don't know why that is, but there's something very cool rhythmically about that that you don't normally hear. That, da, 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 and rather than a... Da, on on the on the syncopated um on the on the two and the four really really nice really really nice I'm liking this man again you kind of tie in those piano chords over the top there's a real sense of euphoria about the way this tune's come together definitely a tune for the dances definitely a tune for the clubs without a shadow of a doubt like there, there's a real kind of sense of let's go and have a party let's kind of lose ourselves in the way this one sounds. <laughs> Woo. I'm loving the use of those military drums coming in as well. Those military snare rolls. I don't know why. Um, and obviously, he's talking about soldiers as well. But there's something very, very cool, I think, about utilizing a kind of organic sounding drums like a military snare. I don't know why, but it just has a very natural kind of way of pulling you in as a listener. I love hearing organic sort of drum sounds on tunes like this, which are very electronically produced because it gives you a kind, it makes your ears kind of go, oh, wait, that, that sounds a little bit too natural. And it does pull you in. And it's great. I love it. That little vocal switch as well, that. That's such a cool little thing to add in. Because again, this tune is very electronic. Um, and I keep saying it, but I love the fact that they are just throwing these other elements in. It's a long tune. It's a 4 minute 32 tune. This video may well get chopped down because of how long the tune actually is. But I'm loving the fact you are able to kind of hear those 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 kind of almost EDM style vocal chops. That's something you'd expect to hear in like a garage tune or even like a like a big room trance tune. Just hearing that with the, with the sort of vocal chop. Really, really cool thing to throw in. I've got to say, from a compositional point of view, this tune has not stopped moving. It's gone in so many different directions. It's gone in so many different areas. It's incorporated so many different elements and styles and sounds from different genres of global music. Again, the sort of garage style vocal chops, the introduction of those military snare lines. That's a very kind of hip hop thing to do. You then kind of tie in the almost kind of euphoric, almost again, EDM style um, drum arrangements, that sort of usage of, the, of that sort of 808 in the low end as well. There's a ton of different influences all being sold into this, but the track Transitions between the sections are so so smooth. It's crazy. Again, even this section here just. Just the bringing in, again, of that sort of lead synth, which is very... 
I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's very EDM. Like, it's very sort of, sort of thing you'd expect here on, like, a Jason Derulo tune. Um, like, that's the sort of thing you'd expect to hear it on. But in this kind of context, it's a little bit less cheesy. It's a, it's a party tune at the end of the day. And it's really cool to see how many of those different influences have all been kind of woven into this to make it work. It's a great collaboration as well. A long tune that has no at no point sounded repetitive as well. If you're getting to 4 minutes 32 and your tune doesn't sound repetitive, you're doing something right composition-wise. We'll let it run through to the end and then give it our final breakdown. But this has been great. <laughs> And there we go. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. There we go. Cozy M alongside Yo Maps with Beku Chinga. Uh, this one straight out of Zambia. Very cool tune indeed. I saw that this one's now up to number two on the Boom Play chart for Zambia. So that's really cool to see. Um, I like this. I really, really do. I love the fact it incorporates so many different kind of classic dance elements, but also incorporates elements from stuff like Garage, stuff like uh, almost Drill with those 808 bass lines down below from EDM um, with, with the sort of usage of those drums. And then again, just the constant shifting of, of territory is, is so enjoyable to hear. Love both sets of vocalists, Cozy M and Yo Maps both absolutely killed it. It's a collaboration that definitely works. I love how intertwined it was as well. It never got boring, which for a 4 minute 32 tune operating in this kind of space, it can very easily get boring. And they managed to keep it not getting boring, which was great to see. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments section down below. I'm always keen to hear your thoughts. And also do remind me of people that I need to be checking out from Zambia on this new wave. It's great to see. As always, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page. Turn your notifications on as well leaving a like, leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time. Peace. Oh, this is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning to the sounds of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.